Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, September 24th. A chilly start to the day here in the Mid Atlantic region. Most areas drop down way down into the 40s overnight, and it is uh, in some areas a record breaking morning across the Ohio Valley and down into the deep south in places like northern Florida. There are temperatures at or near record lows for the day. Now, this chilly air mass will modify over the next 24, 48 hours or so. By Wednesday, we'll be back to normal, maybe some 80-degree readings in the mid-Atlantic region, but then another cool front comes through later in the day on Wednesday that could spark a few showers and thunderstorms, and we'll drop off again 5 or 10 degrees or so for Thursday and Friday. This is the map from coolweather.com that shows all the areas this morning that are at or near record lows for the past 24 hours for this particular date ranging all the way from the Midwest down into the northern part of Florida. Again, I don't expect to see anything like this tomorrow morning, as this will probably be the bottom out of this particular chilly air mass and will warm up again by Wednesday afternoon, just ahead of another cool front that will slip through the eastern states late in the day on Wednesday. Well, here's the current surface map for the U.S. and high pressure. Canadian high pressure really originated way up here in Canada, is in control now over the eastern part of the country. There actually is a little batch of rain right now headed towards the Philadelphia region. It could cause a light sprinkle over the next couple of hours. We'll see that in a moment on the radar. But basically this high pressure is in control and will be in control until this cool front up here in the southern part of Canada drops to the south and east. And it will not be a major rain event later in the day on Wednesday, but there certainly can be a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm associated with that frontal system as it passes on through. Wednesday will warm up just ahead of that front, only to drop off again 5 degrees or so on Thursday and Friday. Well, let's jump ahead 48 hours, and this is what I expect the surface map to look like come Wednesday morning. That front that is currently right now over south-central Canada continues to drop to the south and east over the next 48 hours, and by Wednesday morning, that surface front will be pressing into the Ohio Valley, and there can be a few showers or thunderstorms ahead of and along that front during the day on Wednesday. Actually, any time from very late Tuesday night through the day on Wednesday. High pressure then builds in behind that frontal system and dries us out for Thursday and Friday, along with a little bit cooler uh, temperatures that will drop some 5 to 10 degrees from Wednesday's high. Now, by the weekend, it's starting to look kind of inclement here in the Mid-Atlantic region. There looks like there may be a low pressure area moving into the Mid-Atlantic region that could threaten us with some showers both Saturday and Sunday. Well, here's the current radar loop, kind of a rogue little area right here in southeastern Pennsylvania of uh, a couple of sprinkles. So there may be a few clouds, maybe in a sprinkle two or two in the Philadelphia metropolitan region up until about 10 o'clock or so. Then mostly sunny skies should resume. And uh, it'll be a cool afternoon, well below normal for this time of the year, despite plenty of afternoon sunshine. High temperatures generally confined to the upper 60s in many parts of the Mid-Atlantic region. It's some 5 to 10 degrees below normal for where we should be this time of September. Well, let's take a look at one computer forecast map. This is for Wednesday morning from last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. Here's a band of precipitation associated with that frontal system come Wednesday morning. And again, there will not be a major rain event by any means in the Mid-Atlantic region, but there can be a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm associated with that next cool frontal system uh, late Tuesday night and throughout the day on Wednesday into Wednesday night. Following that will be another cool high pressure system for Thursday and Friday. So we'll dry out and stay cool to close out the week before some possible shower activity moves in for the weekend. Well, that's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian.